What is up guys, Handyman Sam here, and today we'll be working on a 2003 Mazda B3000. The belt tension on this Mazda has been going out, so we're going to replace the pulley, uh, which, if you look at the diagram, is located right here. The hardest part is getting it on the, uh, on the, uh, on the park. Well, I didn't take the belt off. I just went ahead and said, screw it. Let's go ahead and loosen it, Taylor. Why don't we do that? Let's do it while it's under tension, huh? How's that for the smartest idea ever? Let's see. I almost got it off the, uh, off this pole. Yeah, there we go. Now that the belt's off, we're just going to loosen the tensioner. Yes. Let's see, it keeps sliding off of it. So now we're just in the process of loosening the pulley. Which is very hard without a, uh, what's it called? A breaker bar? Not necessarily a breaker bar, but the, um, actually have a tool called a belt tensioner, um, rod. It's like a very thin rod that slides and fits in between here. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty loose though. Yeah, because it can move quite a bit. But still can't hand. You gotta spin this board quite a few times, don't you? Nope, not yet. Ah. Of course not. Of course it ain't. Is it? Of course not. The yeah. pulley's about as loose as can be, then. And I suggest once you get it loose, to take both your index fingers and sort of spin it like this. And then it comes off. It's a tight fit, but it's you can still get it. Pain in the butt. It's about off, it looks like. It's getting there. <laughs> My hand is like, oh. All right. So then next we'll just slip the pulley out straight toward us and lift it up. Oh. Do not fall in the... Fan shroud. Come here, you evil one. All right. And we can see here that whenever we spin this, it has a little bit of a wobble to it, and it also spins a little bit too freely than the new one that we have. See, this one doesn't spin as freely, so this is probably our problem. So now we'll slide the new pulley on. It's quite the tight fit. Now we're going to slip the new or the bolt on and finger tighten it for now. Then we'll tighten with a ratchet and 5 8 socket. And you don't have to worry about over tightening with this, which is kind of nice because it, see, it's already, it's actually already tight. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about over tightening because once you tighten tight enough, it actually moves the whole pulley because it's a tensioner. Well, that'll be, that's, I like doing this one last because it's, uh, it's closest to, you can see where I put screwdrivers on it before and popped it up mm -hmm. because it's, uh, the easiest to, uh, accessible, you know, for this, you got to get your hands down here. This is just right here In between these two. And then around the tension. Back. Get it, everything, make sure everything's aligned under the top pulley. Make sure it's on the bottom pulley. Yep, yeah, it's good. Alright, so but all right, just about man. On. There you go. Make sure. Oh, well, it's almost on. Can you put it back on and actually tighten it? Because I gotta get this little fold right here back in. Yeah. Yep, okay, it did it itself. You're good. Another tip whenever you're replacing or putting the belt back on and taking out the pulley and everything, uh, you can push this air box back so that you have easier access. Alright, let's see if she squeaks now. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I thank my buddy JT um, here for helping me or for letting me work on his truck with him. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.